Alright, hello everybody, this is Demon coming back for another round of Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, many of you may be wondering, Demon, I see a lot of stuff going on in your left. I have been playing this game for the past almost three hours. Going through many things to try to unlock stuff with those Guardian stuff. So, it's been a fun time. Finally got a fair bit of resources, but I gotta make this one alloy thing. And I was like, I don't feel like making this alloy all day. And I really wanted to record this. I was actually supposed to record around 8. But then I went, no, I'm going to try playing. And I spent the best part of one, two, probably better part of two hours playing. And then spent another good 50 minutes playing, doing other things. And then realized what I had to do to go get some resources. Now I've discovered how to do it, and now I'm a happy camper. Um, clearly see, Demon's been doing a lot of things. A lot of things. Mainly this alloy thing. I don't know how many of these I can get. It says that if you get 50 of these, I think you can turn them in. But it takes a while. Then you need a lot of this ore stuff. Um, which I discovered I can buy for dirt cheap. You can buy them for less than like, just like five to 6,000 on the market, which is really nice. And you don't need too much iron ore, um, but you need like five or six of these. Cause I, I've, I've been going a while. Because at least from what I understood, you can do this all through, um, you need about 50 of these. And the max I can get right now is 30 something, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to stop for a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to stop and play. Wait, well, fighting up there must take priority, so let's just go ahead and start it up. Ah, oh, there you are, probably the end of the situation. I forgot I talked to everybody. Should not allow Master Alpha to leave without an escort, but it fails us not to dwell in the past. We must focus on what can be done now. Around. Alizé has explained all to me. Needless to say, you have done a uh, cooperation search, even if Alphano's trail does lead to the burn of old places. The region known as the Burn occupies a special place in Garlean history. Every child in the Empire is familiar with the tale. As the past, it was a verdant land teeming with life, but successive summonings saw blood drive ether and reduced to a desert. It was upon beholding the devastation that the primals had wrought that Emperor Solus was spurred to embark upon his crusade against their kind. Right off to the glimpse of the future we seek to prevent. No, you have any reason why Elfno might have gone there. I am chance, though it lies on the road to Garlemald, it is no place to make salt. My guess is they encountered some manner of trouble there. In any event, I am uh, the same man as Alze. We have no choice but to take our search to the burn. Given the considerable distance uh, involved, it's best we went by bird. I know, I need and I have our Yol, Jugiri, are uh, we ready falcons for the others? I shall gather our swiftest birds. Near yeah, the house of fear, says an overlook, pray join us there once you have seen to your preparations. Yeah, but I, I've been going all out in it. Although, I know there's a way to do quick synthesis, which allows it to just play out the whole time, but for some reason, um... It won't let me do it. So it's... It, I have to push a button. A lot of times. And right now I'm lazy, so I don't want to push the button. Oh, God, bro. It's gonna take me forever to do that. And even then, there's no guarantee you'll actually get anything. So it's like, you have to do it so much. Hey, look, everybody's here. Coming for you, Alpha now. Having named his emissary of Doma, Lord Hien considered himself personally responsible for Master Alpha no safety. Not I could say what's way in from joining the search. Such a steed to bear me to a frog for my field work in a fraction of time. Yep, I should try my hand at Dardum's medal. Everyone is here, possessed furthest away. Remember, our destination is barren wasteland. There's no civilization to speak of for a hundred moms in all directions. Take care, do not lose your way. Okay. The bird. Alright, and with that, guys, unfortunately, I have to do a bit of a jump cut because we have to get into this mission. So I will see you at the end of the jump cut and hopefully see what's going on next. Alright, guys, let's go ahead and get this stuff started. Bit of a time lapse. Not gonna lie. Took a lot longer than I was thinking it was gonna do. 
be honest, I got to the point where I was getting up. I was like, oh, I wonder if I should get another cup of coffee. I was like, nah. Although, if you can clearly see, I have a giant uh, cut in terms of finances. Yeah, I went over and bought a lot more of that ore stuff. It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna go all out in this bitch. Good evening. Oh, look. I actually don't remember the bosses in this one, I'm not gonna lie. The last thing I remember is... I, I remember the last boss, that's about it. And the only reason I remember the last boss is because they're a bitch. I hate dealing with them, they're such a pain in my ass. Damn, you gotta be very careful with the damn falling rocks in this. Good. Yeah. I might have a little bit of a memory from some of the other bosses. I'm not. I don't remember anything. My brain's fried right now. I'm still half asleep, I think, right now. I didn't get as much sleep as I wanted to last night. I might get by that rock. Oh, I did. Cause I'm an idiot, and I'm trying to play while blowing all my glasses, damn fuzzy crap. I might remember this boss a little bit. I think you have to hide behind those pillars. behind this. Oh no. Damn it, we both got hit. They want to hide behind one of the pillars so it takes the pit. Yep. Sit right back. Yeah. Got it. Wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad. I thought it'd be a little bit harder than that. I guess some of my freaking brain still remembers that boss. We had to make Ui attack, got to jump. Is this the one I'm thinking. My memory 
is pretty bad on this part. I'm thinking I remember it, but I don't trust myself. That ability to get the AOE attack bars back up quick. Maybe. That was something that's taking the time. Oh, I do remember this boss, so you gotta look at which one it's not going to go down and avoid that attack. Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> Ooh, hit the wrong button. Electrified is the one you want to do. <laughs> now look at this AoE attack. Just go, don't worry, dog. I got your back. Not doing that bad. I think we have its health down so far. I thought it'd do one more. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I am definitely going to be looking for a source of freaking income after all this. I actually do like the burn, it actually is a really interesting area. Now I go right back to A. As do the AI. Dead. Did pretty good. I'm doing pretty well. I didn't think we'd do this well. The real challenge is the last boss, though. He's a bit of a bitch. I'm not lying. First time I ever did this mission, I had no idea how to, um... Like, I, I understood the concept of it. But with the players I was playing with, uh, we were all having trouble uh, keeping up with each other uh, to beat the boss. Because 
Like, I understood the concept of it. I knew what to attack. I knew, I knew what to do. Other people sort of knew, but I, I don't know if we just couldn't accumulate enough damage overall to make it worth it. Because we had to reset, like, two or three times in a row. Eventually, we got it. It's just, when you first play it, it's a bit of a bitch. Volunteer Choker. And if you're curious, we're fighting a dragon. I love dragons. This thing's a bitch. It's got one attack that I really despise. has that attack too. Now I think we gotta kill heads. Hopefully before this attack gets too far out at us. focus on themselves for a little bit. I've already used all my help, helpful abilities. Oh, what a big GG. Um, I'll give it to the healer this time. They did a great job. They, they did what they had to do. Yes, I gotta play a recommendation. A combination. Eat. Ah, there you are. Between contending with bloodthirsty beasts and sand in my every conceivable place, I had begun to despair of finding you again. Do you recognize the crashed ship over yonder? Mistress Alizé and I briefly inspected it. It is the vessel that bore Master Alphino away. But there was no sign of him, nor of Maxima and his people. That right there. War Machina. It would seem they were involved in a struggle. There may be clues. We should split up and search the area.
A lot of dead people. Hmm, these Jesus. were no ordinary soldiers. Over here! The insignia on this man's uniform identifies him as one of the Emperor's personal guard. Hand-picked soldiers, answering only to the royal family. That would explain why all the casualties are Garlean. They were fighting their own. Mm -hmm. You're saying the Emperor was behind all this? That Alphano is his prisoner? No, it's fine. I'm sure we don't know that yet. I think Alphano is fine. Not that I don't know anything secret. I, we must not jump to conclusions. Besides, Alphano is more than capable of looking after himself, is he not? I suggest we return to Doma to consider our options. Whatever happened here, Master Alphano is long gone, and any subsequent search may safely be left in the hands of the Shinobi. Where in the world are you, brother? If you die on me, I will never let you hear the end of it. Tear his poor ass out of the ether stream and probably kick his ass. Dab, dab, dab. Hit me, I need a moment. Present evidence, we have no reason to fear the worst. More than that, I cannot say. A uh, note close to establishing Master Alphano's whereabouts and a suggestion of an imperial plot only compounds matters. Much to consider. Now that we have decidedly uneventful journey, I have almost found myself hoping for a sandstorm. Joking aside, I'd say our birds would do a good brush down and a treat or two, wouldn't you? I had hoped to steal a moment's rest after our little outing, but it would seem duty calls. A foreign emissary arrived in my absence. Ah, oh, don't. Do not let us keep you then. Actually, I was wondering if you might join me. I cannot think of a guest who could fail to be impressed by the presence of sounds, at least. None I should be ha too happy to receive. Of course, if you think it will be useful. Ah, oh, thank you. Let's return to my manor then. Oh wait, are we already here? What the hell's that? Get up here? Wait, there's another there's a, there's a section I haven't been to yet. Wait, what? I haven't been down there and there's been no point to go down there. It's actually kinda cool. No, I do I will say this, I do have a plan for this game. Two more episodes, then I'm done. Then I'm going to go back to building. Uh, Lord Hien, it's about you. May I show you in? Yes. Probably end this episode around noon. It's probably going to be an extended episode, to be honest. What brings you here? Oh, Alliance business. We have a request for Doma. Well, Hian. But that can wait. They told me you were out searching for Alphino. Did you manage to pick up his trail? Well, if he wasn't at the crash site, he might still have escaped. We have to keep searching. And we will. Alphano embarked on this journey as an emissary of Dorma, and I hold myself responsible for his safe return. 
I will have our shinobi in the provinces search for him as a matter of urgency. Chin up, Alize. You'll get to admonish your brother for his recklessness yet. Well, someone has to do it. I'm sure he's going to be fine. There is one thing I'm not sure about, though. You said it was the Emperor's personal guard that attacked Alphino's airship. But the Popularis would never have been able to arrange the prisoner exchange without Varus's blessing. So why would he sabotage his own mission? They may not have been acting on Varus's orders. The guard answer not only to him, but to his family, the Crown Prince included. When Yotsuyu summoned Tsukuyomi, Asahi was quick to proclaim that a dormant citizen had violated the terms of our agreement, that the negotiations had failed. And it is this version of events that is now being repeated across Garlemald. To hear the tale, one would think the prisoner exchange never took place. Plainly, someone is manipulating matters from the shadows. Most likely Xenos, or whoever it is that wears his face. Whichever Asian you mean, we all know the nature of our adversary. The servants of Chaos are true to their name. Their meddling has cost Dorma a chance at peace. Whoever it was that loosed his personal guard, the Emperor cannot be ignorant of these developments. We must proceed on the assumption that our treaty is indeed in tatters. But come, Lys. You have journeyed far. Let me hear your petition. Right. So the big news is that Alamigo has agreed to join the Eorzean Alliance. To make it official, and discuss where we all go from here, the leaders of the Five Nations are planning to hold a meeting, and we were hoping you might come too. We've already seen what we can achieve when we work together, and the Alliance hopes to work even more closely in future. They think it's our best hope of keeping the Garleans in check, and I agree. As do I. By coordinating our efforts in the East and West, we may be able to discourage them from committing their forces to a single front. I accept your invitation. I must, however, ask for time to attend to some pressing matters here. In light of recent events, the risk of Imperial reprisals is greater than ever, and I would not leave Dorma unguarded. Ere I depart, I must shore up her defenses. Understood. I'll let the Alliance know. We'll wait to hear from you before setting a date. The meeting's to be held at the Royal Palace in Alamigo, incidentally. Do you remember the way? Well enough. Please assure my hosts that I will not keep them waiting any longer than I have to. Consider it done. And thank you for agreeing to come. If we all put our heads together, we're sure to find the best way forward. For everyone. That the alliance would extend an invitation, uh, would extend an invitation to almost, uh, bespeaks the depths of their concern. Nor are they misguided. Garlemald has fallen under Asian control. The threat we face is incalculable. A warrior often has been through countless trials, has come out stronger every time. He'll be back, I'm sure. Gary assures me the task of searching is best up to a comrade. I shall trust their experience and focus on what I can do. While we are happy to cooperate in the alliance, there are many things that Doma must do alone. My advisor and I will presently uh, convene to discuss the matter of Doma's defenses. You are welcome to stay, of course. Had you not offered, I would request requested leave to remain. Where the Ascens are concerned, not may be left to chance. Here is ever, uh, we would benefit from your experience. I thank you for coming, Lee. Even if it was an official business, I had hoped there might be time to show you the land and you helped to save, but I will settle for a fleeing visit if uh, needs must. Uh, there never does seem to be enough time for anything. 
does there. But I did get to see a little of the Enclave. We made excellent progress, I must say. As soon as you'll have the chance to see how we're getting on too, till the uh, meeting done. I might as wonder if I might have a word with you before I go, in private. No, my friend, I will send for Hakaro and the others in the meantime. Great, I'll wait for you at the docks. Okay. I thought around the first. Why aren't there still people here? Wow. Alrighty then. Another part, another part of story completed. It's always fun doing these. As for coming, knowing you, you've probably guessed what I wanted to talk about. Alize, she's acting as everything's alright, but it's clear she's barely coping. Alize, I know, is overbearing, willful, and reckless, and that's fine. It's how she deals with feeling weak. She has to keep moving, or she's afraid she'll fall apart. A lot like me. But the thing about people like us is that we need someone to keep an eye on us. I had Papa Limo, and now I have my friends in the Resistance. And Alize has you in the Scions. Before you start, I'm not saying that you're neglecting her. I'm sure you aren't, and I'm sure you won't. But she's a good friend, and when I see her like this, I can't help worrying. So please, make sure you give her all the support she needs, alright? Nothing to worry about, seriously? Of course. Okay, I mean, it goes without saying, but if there's anything I can do, you need only ask. Well, I best be off. See you in Alamigo. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta go back to the place. Now I would have figured everybody would have left this area by now. It's actually quite surprising people still stay here. Anybody have stuff to add? Well, it's best for but if part of me was credulous enough to believe the Empire's promises, never again. Pure Accord is a nest of vipers and a piece they offer is laced with poison. Damn. But silently just surprised those newly arrived at where matters stand. Everything alright with Lise? I won't ask for details, I know you'd tell me if it were important. I dare say I cannot guess the subject of discussion with Lise. She too was never one for concealment. Much for you, the individual in question seems none the wiser. Yeah. Alright, uh, but I will end this episode here, guys. We are very close to noon, and as I said, I kind of wanted to end the episode just around this time. As I figured, this episode perhaps went on for an hour, and I know there is at least... Probably almost 20 minutes where it was, where I was sitting there waiting for them, uh, the missions to start. Uh, for the one dungeon. And burn. Uh, so, all I have to say is this. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Come back, ladies and gents, or Final Fantasy XIV, and we'll talk to the Lord Hian here and see what he thinks of the situation. See you guys next time. Thanks.